together for Jennifer Bulldozer Phil, MMA is the best thing in the world, and the only thing better is WMMA, women's mixed martial arts. The women always bring it. No wall and stall, no lay and pray, just fighting. What can you tell us about the fighter who's about to enter the brave cage? First off, I just want to say that I have mad respect for both of these women, Jennifer Treo and Monica Kucinich, making their professional mixed martial arts debut on a global stage like this. They didn't decide to go for a local show, a smaller show dip their toe in the water. They decided to place themselves front and center for the world to see. Jennifer Bulldozer Trejo fighting out of Team FKA in Marseille, France. As we alluded to at the top of the broadcast, this may be her mixed martial arts debut, but she brings a 20 and seven professional kickboxing record. Began kickboxing at the age of 15, 12 years ago. She is a member of the French national kickboxing team, which she is also the vice captain of. A former bronze medalist at the 2018 European World Championships. Incredibly dangerous, very accurate point fighter. Phil, I also stand she has a background in savat, the French art of foot fighting. I'm always excited to see a new exotic martial art enter the brave cage. Incredibly confident in her abilities and assures us this will be a spectacular fight. Two incredibly well accomplished kickboxers throwing down inside the mixed martial arts cage. And let's welcome her opponent into the brave WFC cage from Senova, Slovenia. Please welcome Monica Pitbull Kuchanich. Phil Pitbull, single most popular nickname in mixed martial arts. It's like a boxer being called Rocky. To pull off that nickname Pitbull, you have to possess gameness. Gameness is the will to win, greater than the will to live. And that, in 10 words, is Slovenia's Monica, the Pitbull, Kucinich. Monica Kucinich will want to make sure that the bodies will indeed hit the floor here at Brave Combat Federation 34. A K1 specialist, 23 and one in her professional kickboxing career with 15 KOs, which is practically unheard of at the sub 60 kilo weight category for women. Her last fight was right here in Ljubljana in October where she won by TKO and in doing so, won her fourth version of a kickboxing world title. A two-time European kickboxing champion, incredibly dangerous, has spent the past six months cross training at a number of different gyms, has spent time at MMA Ljubljana, at Simba Fight Club, at Club Fearless Fighters, at her own gym, DBT Senova Slovenia trying to become as well-rounded as possible. And what I liked about Kucinich at the weigh-ins, she got right in the face of Trejo, let her knew, or let her know that she was in for a fight, even said to her, I came here to fight. I cannot wait to see how this is gonna transpire, Kirk. Two vastly accomplished kickboxers throwing it down inside the Brave Arena MMA style. Carlos Kramer, make it official, my friends. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this third fight of the night is three. Five minute rounds in the 53 kilo catch weight bout. This bout is brought to you by Green Hill, our official fight gear sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the ladies to let the fish fly? Let's welcome our first lady warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner, she's a big social artist making her MMA debut. She stands 163 centimeters tall and weighs a red 53 kilograms. Represent Team FKA and fight out of Marseille, France. Please welcome Jennifer Bulldozer T. And 
Here's your opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This lady is a mixed martial artist, also making her MMA debut. She stands 157 centimeters tall and weighs her ring 52.9 kilograms. Represent DTB Sanobo and fighting out of Sanobo, Slovenia. Give it up for Monica Pitbull Kuchani. Your referee is Emiliano Colosi. Phil, I got a feeling this one starts fast. I think what we're going to see is Monica taking the fight right to Jennifer, not allowing her any time to settle into her groove at all, not allowing her any time with which to gauge and find her distance. No touch to the gloves, interesting. No touch to the gloves, no love in these gloves. You can see both of these ladies adopting an upright style. Very much indicative of their kickboxing K1 and Muay Thai background. Monica looks a little bit lighter on the feet. You may see her dart in and out. Bulldozer gauging the distance from her opponent, trying to use her slightly superior reach. Wisely had opened with kicks. Beautiful straight shots and finishing with the kick is Kucinich. Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching kickboxing with four ounce MMA gloves. Pitbull unleashing. Ladies and gentlemen, keep a safe distance away because we are watching a fireworks display. Look at the right eye already of Jennifer Treo. Some serious punishment absorbed thus far. Treo managed to reverse positions, but only momentarily. Over under position for both women, and that eye is swelling by the second. Big shots from Monica. Pitbull really sinking her teeth into this fight. Trio finds herself in a very difficult position, Phil. She doesn't want to stand and trade in the outside, and she is not finding the strength or the leverage to succeed on the inside. Nice little shoulder bump there from Monica, a la Mr. McGregor. As an Irishman, I had to get that in, Carrick. I make no apologies at all for it. A little bit of a quick separation on the fence. Crowd here. Officials here like a fight. Look at the power that Monica generates. Gauging distance, having fun, and catching oh. Trejo again. Big shots, she stopped it. Referee has not stopped. Referee didn't stop it. I think Jennifer thought she was back in kickboxing there, was going to take the count. But this is MMA. There are no standing eight counts in mixed martial arts. You go out with your shield or on your shield. This is Brave Combat Federation, ladies and gentlemen. Big props to Pitbull. I think she was afraid she'd hurt her opponent. Decided to stop. But the fight continues. Pitbull wants to reverse, separate, and go back to striking. It's perhaps a little bit of naivety on the part of Jennifer here where I don't think there's the awareness that she needs to dig in for the underhook on her right side. Seems to be happy just to stay in that 50-50 position where I'd really like to see her dig in for underhooks. Realizing that she doesn't want to give Monica Kucinich any space to land those shots. What I would like to see Monica do, Kirk, is get a little bit of separation, get a little bit of space between herself and Jennifer. Orlando, there we go. And there she goes. It's happening. Oh, she dropped her. It has got to be over. What heart from Jennifer Trejo staying into the fight, grabbing a leg. But Monica Pitbull. Huge shots, landing at well. May she punch herself out here, we don't know. Trio is a mighty warrior, taking everything the Pitbull lands on her face. Still in the game. What is Jennifer Trejo made of? Momentarily thought about changing levels, trying to get the takedown, but that right eye is in danger of swelling shot carry. We can see it right in front of us here. I'm sure the cut team will take a long, hard look at that in between rounds. Referee breaks him up quickly again. The referee loves a little bit of separation, doesn't he? Step and elbow attempt from Jennifer Trejo. Kucinich looks like she hasn't even broken a sweat in there. 
That is why they call the woman Pitbull. Good knee in the clinch from Treo. Thought about the inside trip, abandoned it. Nice gauge control from Monica Kucinich. Again, the scope here. They're both standing very upright. The scope here for either to change levels and score a takedown. And again, that's perhaps a little bit of the MMA inexperience from both fighters. MMA experience, or perhaps they just love to stand and bang, winning or losing. Short time now. Referee making sure the fingers don't go through the cage. That is a great first round of action. Credit to both fighters. Let's first talk about the, the unbelievable power that Monica Kucinich is able to generate. All 53 kilos of her with beautiful straight shots. But then you have to give credit to the resilience and the toughness of Jennifer Treo. Uh -huh. It might be within the best interest of Jennifer Treo to implement a little bit of wrestling to try and get this fight to the ground. Because right now, Monica Kucinich, as we will see here in the replay, is running away with it with regards to her striking. Beautiful little short shots up here against the cage, and now, boom, manages to get through the guard of Jennifer Treo. And it might be. Jennifer Treo ready to go. Phil, I don't think the round quite reached the level of a 10-8 round, but that was as clear as a 10-9 as ever you're going to watch. And I think what we might be seeing here is a kickboxer used to covering up in perhaps 10 or 12-ounce gloves. If you try to do the same thing in a pair of 4-ounce MMA gloves, you're going to be leaving gaps that, that your opponent will get through. Treo back in the game, trying to keep her at distance, using that long teep kick, long jab, try and cause some damage of her own. Again, it's just those the speed of the strikes from Monica. That pet bull is vicious. Beautiful lead hook catches her clean. Phil, I'm loving Pitbull's head movement. She's keeping that head off center, keeping her head out of the pocket when she throws those big shots. Nice takedown defense there from Monica. Going for the front headlock. This fighter's tied up in the cage. Probably not going to be for long. Officials here do break it up relatively quickly. There's potential here for Jennifer to take the back if she's aware enough. But she just needs to position her left hip behind the, the right hip of Monica, but decides to square, to stay square on. And there's capacity here for, for Jennifer to establish the, the double underhooks, but instead she's trying to frame off against, against the fence. If she were to connect her hands here, change her level, there's potential for an outside or an inside trip. And referee breaks him up. About to start rocking him and socking him. Phil, I predict face punching. <laughs> Is that your technical analysis thus far, That's Gary? My technical analysis of this fight. Big swing and a miss from Jennifer. That eye is really starting to show. Pitbull managed to keep her face completely unscathed by slipping that head just slightly side to side. Whether she's throwing a punch, standing just inside the pocket, that head is always moving laterally. Excellent technique. Nice head movement, as you've alluded to there from Monica. Just got the head off the center line, was able to slip and rip. Bulldozer trying to try her luck down to the body. And there we go, double leg attempt. If it's successful, could be a game changer, but it was not. Our man guillotine from Monica. Could we see a Pit top here? She's really wrenching on that guillotine. Our man extending the back. Jennifer seems to be safe. Bulldozer trying to punch her way out of the standing arm and guillotine. And again, a little bit of inexperience there. She's trying to lean back on the guillotine as opposed to getting her chest over the back and back of the neck of her opponent and go up with the choke, crushing her as opposed to just trying to lean back on it. If I was Jennifer, I'd be taking my time in here and, and letting Monica burn herself out. There's also this, the scope here for a takedown from 
Jennifer should she so choose. Monica may be in danger of gassing out her arms. Oh, oh. big knee to the head! Beautiful transition from a submission attempt to strikes. Again, the toughness of Jennifer Trejo. Lesser fighters would have surely looking for a way out by this stage, but she is staying and proving just how gritty she is. Big respect to the referee for allowing these two professionals to fight. Nice head movement to Aviad there from Jennifer Trejo. Bulldozer stalking. One minute, down to one minute, Phil. Almost disdainfully shakes off the leg kick attempt there from Jennifer Trejo. Nice slip from Jennifer. She's still very much in this fight. But Pitbull essentially landing shots at will. Phil, Pitbull may be wondering, what do I have to do to stop this fighter? Again, Jennifer has the capacity here for the double underhook position, but chooses not to take it. Just trying to, to give herself a little bit of breathing space, give herself a little bit of time to fill the lungs. I've seen this happen before, Phil. You land, say, 20 or 30 of your very best shots, and you wonder, what's it gonna take to stop this monster? Round two in the books, and again, very much like the end of the first round, we have to give credit to the power, precision, and accuracy with the strikes of Monica Kucinich, but also the resiliency and heart of Jennifer Trejo. I think we're in complete agreement. We are looking at a 2018 score thus far. I'd be inclined to agree with you there, Kirik. Green Hill replay coming up. There's a double leg attempt. And here we see the guillotine attempt. And as I say, Monica leaning back on it, not really getting the purchase she wants on it. I would have liked to see her, as I say, get that chest over the back of Jennifer Trejo. But then the break, and big knees landed by Kucinich. Third and final round, Kirik. Can the pit bull put the bulldozer away? Beautiful kick to the body. Phil, I'd like to see just a little bit more of that from both fighters. I'd like to see a little bit more body attack. Just as you say that, Monica lands a couple of rib ticklers. Oh, nice check there from Monica. That hurt the leg of Jennifer Trejo. See, she's, that lead leg looks like she might have a little bit of damage on it. Bulldozer slowing down just a little bit, but Hart still 100% in this game. I like what she's doing. Every time she lands that job, she gets her head off the center line. There's also scope here in the clinch for both women to land elbows. Lead hand uppercut attempted from Kucinich. An acknowledgement about that last jab. By Bulldozer. That's what I'd like to see Trejo do a little bit more. Set those combinations up. There's a nice double jab straight. Choose to clinch again. Again, over under position. I think that's almost it. She has the scope once again for the double underhooks. If she connected the hands, got her head underneath the chin of Kucinich. There we go. Asked answered. Hands are clasped underneath both arms. She needs to change levels and drive that head underneath the chin of Kucinich and get the trip. This could potentially set up a takedown, potentially ending the fight. Yeah, look for that sweep trip in. I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that, just as Trejo seemed to be getting in the position for the trip takedown, broken by the referee. 
Nice inside leg kick, goes low, then goes high. What is Jennifer Trejo made of? Phil, I can't believe what I'm, I can't believe it. It's Trejo moving in. Again, Kucinich in on that neck. Does she have the awareness to cinch up the guillotine this time? Doesn't quite have the hands. Nice foot stomp work from Jennifer. Shades of Marco Huas. Highly unusual escape attempt from that thought she was front headlock. Thought she was going to give up the back momentarily. Monica separates it again, lands heavy shots. Jennifer Trejo just eating them. Trejo answering with some damage of her own. Stiff job again from Kucinich. Two minutes, Phil. Two minutes left in this contest. Spinning back fist attempt. And Monica has hit Jennifer with everything apart from a baseball bat. And the French kickboxer has just stayed in there the entire time. Bulldozer may have suffered a broken nose, Phil. Oh, beautiful counter shot from Monica. 90 seconds left in the third and final round. Trejo's response to damage is to fight back harder. That's what we're seeing again. Again, caught in the front head. Again, Monica tries to spin out of it. And on a Looking single. for the double. She can turn that corner. She could put her opponent on the back. Monica looks calm. May try and sprawl out of it, but drops down to a knee. May look to disengage here. Referee asking for a little bit of action. We could see a break again. Plenty enough action for me with a possible takedown here, a possible submission here. Referee a lot of possibilities. Oh, beautiful back elbow. Yeah, Monica seems to have the neck a little bit tighter this time, but decides to let go and uncork a barrage. <laughs> 20 seconds left, and in the opening stanzas of the first round, if you'd have said to me that Jennifer Trejo was gonna make it to a decision, I wouldn't have believed you, Kerry. Phil, I thought the fight was over twice in round one. 10 seconds to go. Might see Monica try and blitz a finish. Jennifer ties up. There we have it. What a fight from both ladies. Props to the referee for letting that fight go on, letting these two professional fighters fight. Serious heart and resilience from both women. Monica Kucinich was just some unbelievable striking. And Jennifer Trejo proving just how tough she is. I think we could be looking at early contenders for fight of the night there, Kirik. There is no question in my mind, Phil, that that fight deserves every accolade. Kusin is surely en route, en route to, to unanimous decision. Just let's look at some of her handiwork there. Just, it seemed like everything she was throwing was on the money. Again, Monica just landing shots at will. A little bit of clinch work from both ladies. Yes, Jennifer may have lost this fight, but undoubtedly earns the respect of everyone sitting in here and everyone watching at home. Brave Nation, you are looking at a pair of warriors. Carlos Kramer making his way inside the Brave Arena to make things official. Slovenia, are you absolutely kidding me? Give it up for these two lady warriors. What an incredible fight.
After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scores about 30-23. Your next judge scores about 30-27. And your final judge scores about 30-25. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Monica Pitbull Kuchani! Unanimous decision for Pitbull, Irish Thunder, Phil Campbell, gonna have a word with the...